I was born in Swaziland, but uh, we moved to South Africa. And I generally grew up in Johannesburg, um, went to school here, finished my high school here, and then moved to Cape Town um, for my university. I initially was going to study science. I wanted to be a forensic pathologist. The change for me happened when I was job shadowing a whole lot of forensic pathologists and sort of came to the realization that I didn't really want to be sitting in a lab looking at dead bodies all day. So um, I was lucky enough to do art at high school. So I had a little bit of a portfolio that I sent to the Michaela School of Art and they accepted me. The thing that drew me to the medium that I work in now is back to forensics and science. Nothing is really separate from each other. In as much as art seems like something that's totally separate from science, it really isn't. I remembered growing up and how a lot of the girls had this fascination with body hair and how there was this assumption that the lack of body hair would make you more attractive. So women were always shaving or waxing. And started thinking around the idea of how people would react to a completely hairy female form. I started making molds of myself and using that as the basis for the work and just creating these life-size hairy women. What inspires me never really stays exactly the same. For the moment, bullfighting. The emotions of fear, expectation, and this need to protect oneself are interchangeable with the crowd, the fighter, and the bull. Continuing with my work, there was a stage where people were confused about whether I was a man or a, or a woman. So that tension between the male-female and how we understand that, and of course the animal-human, and how we determine the separation, you know. I think that um, sometimes human beings forget that we actually are animals. And of course, mythology, which for me right now is becoming even richer and more interesting because there's connections, like I said, to every civilization of the world. In some instances, I really enjoy the very sensual, obviously female elements of how the hide makes my body look. In other ways, I really enjoy the bordering on masculine elements of the work. I really enjoy androgyny as well. The residency in Ohio is really great in that it's a time for me to experiment, learning how to paint. So just being able to have the time and the space to um, experiment and play around. I'd like to say a really big thank you to Standard Bank um, for the award and um, you know, also the Grahamstown Arts Festival for the platform of actually showing my work there. The Standard Bank Award means that I'm traveling in the right direction. Um, it means that um, other people are recognizing my work um, and that I need to step it up, <laughs> I guess.